Well, this stage is just a few days on this side of Bass Strait, but for one of Tasmania's finest trainer drivers, it could be a little bit more than that in the future. I caught up with Nathan Ford to discuss his appearance here at Clubman Angle tonight. Well, Nathan, good to catch up with you. Sorry about the weather. Yeah, I'm oh, pretty used to it in Hobart. <laughs> I'm sure it gets a little bit Piccadilly. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, we cop a fair bit of rain, a bit of coldness over there. Hey, they just mentioned you're on this side of Bass Strait. It's just for two or three days with Jack Trainer. Is there an eye for the future as far as trying your luck on this side? Oh, yeah, of course. Me and my partner, we're always looking to bury ourselves. So, yeah, Sydney's always an option and Queensland could always be an option. But, yeah, for the time being, we're staying at home. But yeah, it's always an option. Racing in Tasmania, always very competitive. Yeah, but a lot of people don't understand. Our racing's a little bit harder than what people think and give it credit for. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard racing in Tassie. Second generation following in Dad's footsteps, Scott. And what a wonderful career he had, including contesting an Inter-Dominion in Adelaide. Yeah, Dad had a good career. He had a bit of a roller coaster career. But, yeah, he, he'd done his fair share of good driving against some good drivers. And, Nathan, he also had a very nice horse called Shy Ticket. Yeah, she um, ran second in the ladyship mile to a horse called Five Star Comfort back in the Harold Park days, and she ended up uh, being sold, sold to America. She's AC many decades away now, Harold Park, those days. Oh, yeah, I was only a young kid, I think. Well, you started your career as a 15-year-old and now 18 years on, over 400 winners. Enjoying your time now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm loving my time now more than I ever have, really. I, I like helping my partner. We've got a couple of lovely kids that love their horses, and, yeah... I'm really loving it at the moment. Been a bit of a roller coaster career over the last five or ten years, but I really love it. The fact that you do have such a supportive partner and a wonderful family now surrounding you is sort of like giving you that stability. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, all the work we do is for our kids, so we put a lot of hard yards and a lot of hours in. It's all for the kids. You've been in, as I said, from day one, including the mini trotters. Yeah, I had to go with the mini trotters. I had a little uh, white pony called Chicky Babe, actually. <laughs> As a 14-year-old, you started to get the bug. You didn't have it up until then, but you linked up with Paul Ashwood in Victoria and your career started to take shape. Yeah, sure did. I, um, I went over there on school holidays. I was, that was family friends from Tassie and went over there, spent some school holidays with um, Paul, and, which was a very, he was a very prominent trainer with his youngsters and he had a good trotter called Our First Jewel. And, yeah, I really caught the bug over there and when I got home, that's all I want to do is do horses. And how many horses do you train now back home? Uh, me and my partner, we have about, we range from six to eight, but at the moment we've got about six, I think, yeah. And you do enjoy the training side of it? Yeah, I love the training side of it. I love getting, we don't get um, many good horses. We breed a couple, but we don't get many good horses. But the horses we do get, we uh, pride ourselves in taking them to the race every week and doing a job. Back in 2011, you contested the Young Australasian Driver Series, won by Joshua Dickey, Matthew Williamson, also from New Zealand, so New Zealand won two. You finished third, but what a hot field of participants that was that particular year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Dex was in that as well. It was, yeah, it was a great trip and very cold at uh, places like Forbury Park, but I really enjoyed the Young Drivers trip. And the friendships you forged back then with all the news, Ashley Syker was in it back in those days as well, and Elton Tormey, so those friendships just continue on. Yeah, every time you see each other, like that's what the industry is like, every time you see each other it's good to catch up and go back on the old memories. Nathan, a $4,000 purchase from Neil Day, a horse by the name of Star Chamber, what an outstanding investment that ended up being. Oh yeah, he was great to us. As, um, we brought him as a four-year-old, he went on to win a Tassie Cup, he won a Devonport Cup, he won a Lonnie Cup, he was just he was a life changer that horse. $250,000 plus the return. Plus the return, yeah, yeah, it was great. He died, uh, he died from a heart attack at the trials here about 12 months ago, which is sad times. Yeah, he was a very consistent performer and could handle any conditions. He mobile, stand start, he was always competitive. Oh yeah, stand and start, he loved it. He won the Tassie Cup, that was a mobile actually, but Hobart Cup, he won off 20 metres. Devonport Cup, which is only a 700 metre track, he won off 30 metres, which was a huge task. He was four wide from the, about the 600 metre mark, it was a huge win. Now Nathan, you're over here with Jack Trainer, a horse by the name of I Lake Beach, very consistent performer. How did that association come about? Uh, I just I've spoke to Jack previously over the years, and his team was going pretty good at the time, and he was just sort of plateauing at home. And I thought to send to toughen him up and get him races against a better horse. So we sent him up here to Jack. He's actually named after our two kids, Ola and Alex. So we put the names together, and yeah, he's named, that's why he's named I Lake Beach. It's amazing how many horses get those combination of names together and prove to be successful. Yeah, well, let's hope it's, uh, we breed a few, so all their names are going to have the ILAC um, thing in them, so we'll, hopefully it's a great combination. Nathan, have you been impressed with what you see so far here at Club and Angle and the training facilities? Yeah, well, um, before I had a bit of an indiscretion with my licence, I, uh, I brought two horses here, Star Chamber and The Dip, and I, my first trainer 
um, runner here was actually a winner at 40 to 1 called The Dip. So yeah, I do like Benangle, I like the bigger tracks, I like the American style of racing, so yeah. And would you enjoy competing on a track this size? Oh yeah, I'd love to. I'd like, I really like Penangle. I really like... Uh, Sydney's really good, but I like Queensland as well. Well Nathan, good to see you here tonight, and hopefully we may see you here on a more regular basis down the track. Thanks very much Mick.